bless. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. That I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And then she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given purpose. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. He would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. Let your faith be your guide. Leap. Accept the word of the I will give you purpose. I will set you free. Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest. But we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon. Rook, you're doing a hell of a job out there. But faith doesn't like disobedience. We got word there's an armed patrol cruising the river and it sounds like she's called in the Chosen. The toughest the cult has to offer. Be careful out there. The mist's rising. Gonna make you hallucinate and if you breathe it for too long, well, you could wind up like the Marshal. Boy, the horse out. If I had a nickel for every dumbass stunt of Sharky Bo 
emotions that went tits up, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Still, he's a fighter. And he don't have any love for Eden's Gate. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. <laughs> Charles Lindsay. I'm part of a group hold up south of here at the old gym. Faith and her angels have been trying to get to us for days. I was out here looking for a way to stop them when the cult took me. I think I found a way to bait the angels, but the ingredients for the bait are in my bag and the cult food in the pond. And I... I can't swim. I know. I know who can't swim, but I need you to go get it for me. Charles. Everyone calls me Doc, but I'm not... I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm a veterinarian, but right now I guess I'm the resident ER doctor. Stitching up bullet wounds is a lot different than delivering cabs, that's for goddamn sure. Sorry, doesn't matter. Here's the deal. I stumbled on something that seems to attract the angels, which means we could herd them. I went out to try a field test, but things went sideways. Fucking cult. <sighs> I'm missing ingredients, and if I stay out here, I'm just gonna wind up dead. I have to get back to the prison. Can you help me? I've got the list of stuff I still need. If you could find them, we may actually have a chance at surviving. Don't trust her. Any trouble finding the stuff? It would have taken me months. Fake's angels might as well be walking corpses. Too far gone to bring back once you get that much bliss in you. But with this stuff, we might be able to just herd them out of the way. Once it's ready, do you... 
do you, do you uh, think you can give it a field test? <laughs> I'm positive it'll work, like 95% positive, but we still need to make sure. Officer of the law. You must be popular here. With so many roads to choose. What to believe, who to help first. When to trust. When you find the path, you'll see clearly. Come with me and I'll show you the path. Look, I haven't done a whole lot right recently, but this is gonna change that pattern. Just need to test it out and make sure it works. The cult's using the angels to harvest the bliss flowers at a nearby farm. I test it out there. Those things can freak out easily though. So, go in quietly, set the bait down, and get back to safety. I'm like, okay, maybe 75% sure the formula is correct. So, you know, be careful. Deputy, we're set for travel. into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Even those who fight against us seek salvation. You are proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. The love. And they will come. And they will try to take from us all that we have built. You judge me. And you judge us. The things that we have done. People say that I'm crazy. But when you wake up in the morning, you look at the same news that I do. Do your eyes not fill with horror? This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart? Walls being erected? Because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. is weak and vulnerable and we are hurtling towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it I can see that you can see but we are not crazy 
So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? And I claim to be a perfect man. But I saw what was coming and I chose to act. To lead. Because society is broken. And the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were. Innocent and pure. So safe and protected in our garden. I can save you. Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. A couple didn't make it back. Boy anybody, said... Anybody grab Burke? Uh, Grady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell is Grady? Ah, <sighs> oh, Jesus. Now, you just... You just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. Christ. You come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. in a safe place like this was worth every drop of blood. We need to conserve our men. Howdy, sir. I'd say your reputation for I thought we lost you to that bliss, deputy. Thank God for that sheriff of yours. See what you can do to help these folks out. Finally, some help. Took you long enough. Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. Take care of yourself, deputy. One of them things, all right. You let that thing kiss you? Cause you know dogs spend a good majority of the day licking their own ass. That could have gone shit real quick. Grass is greener over there! Guess you don't have to be gentle. You have no respect for the dead.
I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. What's the point of nice days? <laughs>